Alrighty guys, what is going on? Corbin, Corbin's Cornhole Reviews, back for another slightly windy episode today. It's just so nice out, I gotta record some. I've had so many bags that I've needed to do, and this is one of them. I've had these things for way too long without just talking about them, and it's, I do apologize. Black Sheep Baggers, I'm really sorry. Um, I just, I had so many bags to do, and I still have so many to do. I just, I get to them when I can, and I try to keep them in the order that I kind of received them, so... It is what it is. Um, I will get to them all, so we're here. Uh, but Black Sheep Baggers, uh, they have a ton of different lines, but these are the Costello. I also have the OGs and the Blackwaters. So I don't want to say that anyone's like copying or anything like that, but like these are pretty similar to like Pro Snipers, and the Blackwaters are pretty similar to like Surefires, Deadheads, kind of like that. So like. Pro Sniper P90 here, uh, Surefire Deadhead on the, uh, oh, excuse me, on the Blackwaters. And then I also have the OGs as their carpet bag. Those are kind of unique because that, that slow side is definitely a unique material. So uh, I will get to all of them though. I'll review all of them. We'll get there. Uh, so let's start with price on these. I just checked the website because I know there was talk of them getting stamped and they did get stamped. So this set currently is not stamped. I got these pre-stamped. Uh, they are currently stamped, so they're $79.99. I'm sure it's plus shipping. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm I'm sure it's plus shipping. Um, Break-in method on these. When they sent me these bags, they sent me a letter, and it said, you know, this is how you break them in. And basically, it said, quick wash with these, tumble dry, throw to finish, break it in. So what I did was a quick wash, tumble dry low, throw to finish, break it in. They're great. It's awesome. They're really, really good bags. I really enjoy throwing these. They're awesome. I love the look of them. I like the feel of them. I like how they play quite a bit. So just great bags. Uh, speeds. Slow side is advertised as a five to six. And then the fast side is advertised as an eight. So I actually quite like that because pro snipers are like a nine, sometimes pushing into that 10 territory. They can play really, really fast. This is just that touch slower. And I really, really enjoy that. You know, five to six, eight, right in my wheelhouse, and they play great. They're so hole friendly. Just really, really nice speeds. So three Fs. We got fill, feel, and flop. The fill is, as I'm rubbing it, it seems almost a little chunky, but it's like it's smaller asymmetrical, but it does kind of get caught on itself as you're rubbing it. As you're throwing it, that's not an issue whatsoever. And they're really, really hole friendly, so the fill obviously does its job. They do feel nice in the hand. I'm not trying to knock the fill. Uh, it's just not a smooth real smooth fill like I felt on some other bags, but I have no issues with it actually. Now the feel of them, they feel great. I love this slow side. This is, it feels so close or possibly the same as uh, pro sniper slow side. And I just love the feel of this material. It's great. It just breaks in so nicely. It gets so melty. It stops when you want it to. It goes when you want it to. Such a great material. And then the, the fast side also feels great too. Um, corners are good. Seams are good, edges are good, closing stitch is nice, it's kind of small, so that's kind of nice. You know, a lot of people do a, a bigger closing stitch across the top. This one's pretty tiny, so I, I quite like that, actually. Um, overall feel, really nice. And then flop, they're going to get floppy. You know, bags of this nature are going to get floppy. It's just the way it is. Um, I like it. It's not overkill to me yet. I mean, look at that, though. That, that's pretty floppy. It's not overkill yet, but it's it's pushing the boundaries. But if it stays here, I'll be okay with it uh playability you're going blocks and pushes uh slither around fall into the back you're not going to be flopping cutting rolling any of that crap with these they're just they're way too pliable way too way too flimsy and soft to be able to do stuff like that but you don't need to you can do everything you need with them anyway you know blocks pushes slither around drop cut in between fall in next to the hole they're gonna drop so really really nice bag so let's uh toss them a little bit show you guys graphics here Really like them. I just love how the logo is on the back like that. It's pretty cool. A lot of people want to put that on the front and then, you know, have the black be kind of boring, but I quite like it. And the new ones have the stamp right up here. I just looked at them. So they're pretty sweet. I like the orange, white, and black on these. You know, I'm not much of a Halloween theme guy, but it kind of works with these. And then don't mind the bags on the ground there. Those are literally just holding carpet down because we are slightly windy today. So start here on the slow side. See what I can do. Actually get it kind of close toward the hole. A little surprised. 
It should drop. It did. They're just, they're so friendly. So, so friendly. I mean, when I say they play like a pro sniper, I'm not lying. They play so nice. And it, I really hate to make direct comparisons like that, but sometimes you just have to, you know, because a pro sniper is a really popular bag. A lot of people know about them. Um, personally, I hadn't heard of black sheet baggers before they contacted me. So, you know, I do apologize for that. I don't try to stick to mainstream stuff, but I just, I wasn't aware of what they had to offer. So really glad they reached out. <laughs> Two in a row. I like it. Notice how I really tossed that one up so it wouldn't hit the front of the board. Still slid, still fell in. Thought I was going to get a third front board. and That's just embarrassing. I, I hate to do it, but you guys know I don't like to make a video a hundred times until I'm throwing perfectly because what's what's the point of that? You guys want real world throwing. I mean, it's not fun watching someone throw four in the hole every time. Like, yeah, this bag does great in the hole every time. No, that ain't me. Uh, we're flipping to fast side here. Fast side can punish you like it just did. Had a pretty awful throw there. Missed the hole to the left. But if you're anywhere close, they're going to drop. Fast side plays great. It will push through just about anything. Ah, I tried to loft it too much. Sorry, Black Sheep. I'm not trying to front board all your bags, but I'm just, yeah. Oh, hang on. I'm just trying to, to loft them and just let them climb. I want to show you guys how well they can really do that, but I just got to throw normal with them. A front board doesn't show you anything, actually. At least flying off the back shows you that they slide. So let's front board again. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, do I record this one again, guys? <laughs> That's what, my fifth front board? That's really, really bad. I'll do multiple videos without front boarding. That's terrible. <laughs> I can't. I can't stop now. I just, I got to keep going. Look at that. I swear, guys, I am not this bad. I promise you, I'm not this bad. I, I've not thrown that many front boards in a long time, and I I don't know. Could be the wind going that way. Could be just trying to sally. I, I don't know. Let's go slow side here. Front board. Oh, my gosh. Slow side again. I mean, that's six, I think. I don't think I've ever thrown that many front boards in a video. Fast side. Oh, oh, oh. Didn't want to drip. Both the corners are stuck up. That's why. Yeah. It just didn't want to go. Let's go slow side again. I'm doing another down and back, by the way. Might be a longer video, but six front boards ain't fair. Not fair to black sheep. Let's go fast side. Because my, my poor throwing is not directly related to the bags themselves. I tried to front board again. Let's go airmail, see what happens. And one airmail, I don't know. <laughs> and zero. We're doing another down and back. I really do apologize to Black Sheep and anyone watching this, really, that you have nothing better to do than watch my videos and watch me front board, but at least this one's a uh, form of direct entertainment on all the front boards. I'm going to go slow side here. There we go. Let's go fast side. There's two. Let's go slow side again. Slurp around and drop. Yep. And let's go for an airmail. Messed up. But see, I'm not that terrible, guys. Sometimes I front board. Sometimes more than others. That's kind of what I do. 
and that's no reflection on black sheep. These are awesome bags. I actually really wish I was throwing them well. I like to throw a bag well when I really quite enjoy it, but is what it is sometimes. So slow side. Now that wind's blowing. Look at that thing fall. That is awesome. Fast side. Really tried to loft that one and just keep it in. Fast side again. There we go. And a final airmail. Haven't hit the airmails today. It's been a rough one, but that's all right. So that is the Costello by uh, Black Sheep Baggers. I do have their Blackwater and the OG to review as well, but this was kind of my favorite right out of the box. And when I started throwing it, I kind of figured out why, you know, very pro sniperish with a slightly slower fast side. It's just, it's money. I really, really like these bags. So, uh, and especially for what, 80 bucks, I mean, for a stamp bag now, that's really not too terrible. The market seems to be climbing. They're going hundred or more now. So that's pretty good. Um, I really quite like them. I think you guys will too. If you like pro snipers, don't want to wait, you know, a couple months to get them. You might want to check these out. So that is the short and sweet guys on the Costello by Black Sheep Baggers. If you guys like this one, please give me that thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your buddies, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.